Where's your vlog, Alicia? I know you posted a main channel video. We want to see vlogs. We want companionship. Remy's posting vlogs. You can do it too. What else are you doing? Like, people don't care if you're just sitting at home. Like, like I vlogged being sick. Sometimes it's just about showing up. Bitches. No, look, it's not three o'clock. I was like, I should start vlogging. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about, but I should start vlogging. Let me set you somewhere so I'm not like giving you like motion sickness. So yeah, I got, I never went to sleep last night. I wasn't tired this morning. So I just got ready for the day and I've been working on, I got my vlog up already. Um, been working on inking my um, picture. Let me show you. So, I'm doing her face. Yeah, I'm doing her face. So, we're inking her face. And I feel like it's coming out pretty good. For a while there, I was... Like, because it was... The, uh, the sketch, the blue... The blue is a rough sketch, right? So, like, I was having trouble shaping out her face. Like, because I was telling you guys, when you go to ink down, your lines need to be... Your line work needs to be... Perfect, because if it's not, it's going to look like fucking shit, right? And when you do rough drafts and you have all these little lines, our brains will fill in the gaps for us. So it looks good, but then if you ink it wrong and you do the line work wrong, it's going to look weird. And you're going to be looking at it and you're going to be like, huh? Why does the arm look stiff? Or So, yeah, that's one of the things that I've really tried to work on in my artwork is things not looking stiff or having movement in the movement or like expression like that something going on instead of it being like a static pose do you see what i'm saying because i don't know about you but pictures are better when there's like some kind of movement to them and you're not just posed so like if you're doing something that's why I like to take a lot of um I like to f just film myself when I do photo shoots because then I can get more movement shots they're more interesting to look at because they're telling a story if you've ever realized that you know when there's movement in a picture you're telling a story and then expression like on the face the character expression or even exaggerating out some of their poses like my girl's pose is uh exaggerated it it helps tell the story a little bit better it makes it more interesting and it adds that more dynamic it adds more to a photo than just the pose shit so yeah so what we're doing we're inking that I should do laundry, but I don't really feel like it. I'm like, I can do that tomorrow. It's only Tuesday. I can do that tomorrow. Even though I'm like, I should do laundry. Should I? Should I? I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm hanging out on the couch with Frank. It was funny. He climbed on, on the couch earlier, and then Noe comes over, and it's like, Noe, there is no room. First of all, you're weird, Noe. You, you don't want to sit next to me, so there, there's literally no room for you. I'm not getting off the couch for you, Noe. Like, that that's ridiculous. When my cat comes over and it's like, can you get off the couch so I can sit where you're sitting? Thanks. That's Noe. He'll come over and be, like, upset. This morning, he was on my mom's bed, and I went in there to see him, and he, like, turned his cheek like, no, scratch my cheek here. And he was just... Leaning into it more like and I was just I was like petting his neck or something and he was just leaning out his like cheek like scratch my cheek I'm like you're a cat What is this? So anyways, yeah There's not a lot going on the YouTubes Let's see Not a lot. Where's your vlog Alicia? I know you posted a main channel video we want to see vlogs. We want companionship. Remy's posting vlogs. You can do it too. What else are you doing? That's what I don't get is they act like they're so busy. Well, what else are you doing? I'm confused because 
There's no parallel. Which, even so, you could show what you're doing for parallel in a vlog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm showing my brand or, you know, like, your day-to-day -day life. Like, people don't care if you're just sitting at home. Like, like I vlogged being sick. Sometimes it's just about showing up. Because I think with vlogs, there's a lot of times people just, you follow someone because you like their companionship. Not because they you like their editing style or you like the way their house looks or whatever. You usually... There's something about their personality that you jive with. And it's like, this is someone I could be friends with. But when, you know, YouTubers want to start doing the whole, like, I'm different and blah, blah, blah. Ooh, I linked it in my playlist from yesterday. But the Peter Mon video about um, burnout. Very good. That was very good. It's true. If you've ever worked another job... That was not YouTube. You realize this isn't hard. It's not hard. It's not surgery. It's not being an EMT. Like EMTs. Like I'm not making money on YouTube. But compared to someone like Alicia. An EMT literally saves somebody's life. They put their hands on somebody. And literally bring them back from the fucking dead. They get paid like minimum fucking wage. Compared to a vlogger that makes like. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in AdSense. Plus whatever sponsorships. And they work from home. But they're complaining about how hard it is and they're burned out. You see how that like doesn't jive well with an audience? Like I've said too. Most people who watch YouTube are broke ass. I know I watched YouTube. I started watching it because I was broke ass. We had no cable. We were house squatters. I had nothing else to do. I'd go to the libraries. There's people sitting there watching YouTube because you can go to the library and use the internet for free. There's people at McDonald's that just sit there and use the McWi-Fi so they can watch YouTube for free. Do you see what I'm getting at here? It's not like Netflix where you have to pay a monthly subscription. You just go and there's constant upload of content and you get that personal factor because you can comment, which... I want to see some more influencers like, like Alicia and Remy actually commenting back and having conversations. Like, it's a forum or something in their comments because a lot of people just, oh, just post whatever you guys. It's for you guys to sound off. No, people post comments because they want it, the creator who posted that video to read their comment because they want to comment on your video. They have something to say to you. And they're hoping, and most of the time, they're just praying and hoping you will hurt the comment, which is sad. It is sad, right, Frank? Frank thinks it's sad. So sad he has to get up and stretch and turn around and yawn. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to find something for us to watch. I don't know. Maybe I'll just listen to more music. I've been listening to a lot of music lately. Like I said, YouTube's been dry. YouTube's been dry. We need some... I don't know. We need something going on. It's just been kind of dry. There's nothing really going on. Nobody's really posting anything. Except for Remy, which is cool. But, yeah. Nah. Post your vlogs, people. Do something. Do something! Burnout is bullshit! Frank, tell the vlog how it's dry as fuck on YouTube. There's nothing to watch. Like, literally nothing to watch. I'm going through my music. There's nothing to listen to. But, you know, this happens to me periodically because I'm at home. And there's no free movies coming up. No free movies. Let's see. Free movies on YouTube. Like, usually I get recommended. Them. Nothing. Nothing. Star Trek Into the Darkness. I don't want to watch that shit. Real Star Wars family over here. I don't want to watch that. Ooh. How do you guys feel about Polly Shore doing the, um, wanting to do the Richard Simmons biopic? And Richard Simmons is like, what the f I don't want a biopic done about me. Please don't do that. He's like in hiding, you know? He's... Poor Richard, he's very, he seems like a very sensitive person, and he, 
deals with a lot of like mental health struggles and stuff so like just leave him alone man oh frank you're so cute he's sitting in my lap and he's trying to help me find stuff on the youtubes to watch that's cute frank that is super cute let's see oh that's so funny they have 24 hour 24 7 um cops tv that's interesting there is the dateline stream uh, yeah, there ain't nothing. So usually when I do the, when there's like nothing, I usually start watching Yellow Jackets reruns. So what I'll do is I'm going to link. They have the first episode free on YouTube. Now it's a gory show, so you've been warned, but yeah, I'm going to put this in my playlist. Let's see. Yeah, not a whole lot's going on. Oh, Gore World's on fire with drama, but it's like whenever there's drama in like those like reaction communities, it's like I'm like it's usually like petty shit that I just don't give, care about. I'm like I don't I want to hear about my stories, my foodie beauty stories. So really sweet, Frank. So yeah, I'm gonna put Yellow Jackets. I love this so much. I love this show so much. They really understand drama. In this show and like how it changes people and how it affects people and how you know like when you go through a certain amount of trauma sometimes there is no happy ending for you you know and I feel like it's kind of like that about for Shauna and stuff and you know you're just kind of you're just kind of a broken person and either people accept you for who you are or they don't most of the time they don't so that's why I relate to Yellow Jackets, because it's about trauma and having to, you know, what do you do now with that trauma now that you've survived it and everything is better and sunny, but you went through this horrible shit and it's like, I describe it as this. You know how they say the grass is greener on the other side? I feel like I got kicked to the where the grass is greener and there's like a party going on outdoors, except my legs are broken. And, or I'm my, I, I can't use my legs and I'm in a wheelchair, right? And I'm in a lot of pain and people keep coming up to me and like one of the people at the fucking party is a doctor and he's like, take these pills, it's fine. It's fine. Take these pills. Use this for pain. It's fine. It's fine. Just chill. We're at a party. It's great. You don't need to do anything. Just relax. Do you need anything? And it's like my legs are in pain. I can't really enjoy this party that is super fucking awesome right now because I'm in so much pain. I feel like that's kind of like the trauma, you know, like everything is good. The grass is greener where I'm, I'm actually where the grass is greener. But it's hard to enjoy because I'm in a fuck ton of pain. So, that's how I kind of describe it. It's a weird thing to say, you know, like, you know how things are always better? Well, it is better where our, I live now, but I deal with a lot of health trauma, uh, health pain, and or pain, and mental health problems, and just it is what it is. This story is weird, people. Have you heard about that? Did I have I said that? I think I mentioned this case, the the whole like freezing the guys who froze to death. I think we were watching that on T Rev stream the other day. It's still crazy. The guy's coming out and he's like, "Well, I just moved because of the backlash, and you guys should just assume that I I was their friend, and if I had known they were freezing, I would have done it." Dude, you were in your house for how long? Their cars were out front. Who's the other dude? The fifth guy. T Rev was showing who that was, but it's like, 
Who is this? What, what were you doing exactly? No. It's the next day. My eyebrows, I think, are permanently stained pink. No. They're just a little pink still. Meh. So, yeah. Next morning, I fell asleep um, in my wig and my makeup. And then I got up and washed all that off and went back to sleep. It was so cute. I was sleeping there. And I hear Pat. I just want to let you know I was home and kissed me on the cheek like a prince. Like waking up sleeping beauty. It was just... He does that. He does these things like where I'm sleeping and he'll kiss me. And I wake up and I'm like, this is like a fairy tale. He's like a prince sometimes. I'm like, how did I deserve you? There's all these romantic moments and we've been together for 15 years. It's like an anime sometimes. <laughs> Reminded me of that scene in Fruits Basket where... Toro sleeping on the floor and um yeah so and yeah so anyway so yeah anyways I am going into my head I had some strange ass dreams too last night do you guys ever have strange dreams I have strange dreams all the time because of my PTSD so last night's dream I just want to talk about this a little bit I had a dream I was living in and I think it has to do with I was watching they changed recently, they're going to, the, um, or they did, yeah, the Airbnb in Palm Springs. Okay, if you're a resident of the Coachella Valley, you hate Airbnb. I hate Airbnb, okay? I live in the Coachella Valley. It is rut housing prices. There are whole neighborhoods in parts of our, of the Coachella Valley that are just Airbnbs. In my opinion, houses were never supposed to be an investment. They were never supposed to be a, a business opportunity. They were for families to live in. They were homes for families to live in. We got it where people who live here full time in this valley can't even afford to buy a home. And they have like their whole family living in an apartment. See where I'm going? So when we get like these YouTubers... Because specifically on this one news thing, there was a YouTuber who was like, I bought a house in Palm Springs for a million dollars, and now I'm going to be lucky to get get part of that back. Because they changed the thing where there's only 20% of a neighborhood, no, is it 20%? Yeah, 20% of a neighborhood in Palm Springs can um, be Airbnbs. And there's neighborhoods like the Racket Club that are at 40% now. So now they have people on wait lists. <laughs> wait lists to do Airbnb. Like people wanting to rent out their houses in Airbnb. They're on a wait list. Good times, right? Good times. So they're saying that the housing prices in Palm Springs are plummeting. And people aren't able to sell their houses and stuff. And... So the market's dropping a lot down here. Thank God. I am so sick of YouTubers coming down here who don't assimilate into our community, trash it, then Airbnb at their house, let strangers live next to people who worked very hard to buy their dream house with their family. And now they're strangers. I have heard stories of people on acid dropping into like my friend's and family's backyards where they're just chilling. Here's somebody naked on acid in their backyard because of the Airbnb next door. It's a problem. It It's a problem when people who live in an area can't even afford to, or who work in an area and live in the area can't afford to actually live there. It's a problem. Our valley is not like parts of Orange County either. It's, you've been here, you know. So it's like, it's a nice place to live, but it ain't like places in LA where the houses should be $2 million. I know a lot of these houses and stuff. I know what people will do to get that house to pass an inspection and sell it fast to some yuppie from LA. Yeah, and then that's how people end up with houses with the sewer not working and it backing up into the parts of their bathrooms and stuff. I'm telling you, selling houses 
housing inspect inspections, especially for track houses in California, is a shady business in a way. People know what they need to do to get things to pass an inspection so they can sell the house. A lot of realtors know these tricks as well. We'll tell people what they need to do so they can get that house sold so that realtor can get their commission. You'd be surprised. That note, I'm going to end the vlog so I can I'm gonna get on top of my pain. Get editing this shit. But yeah. It's Wednesday. Shouldn't there be a pretty basic? I'm like supposed to end this vlog and I'm like, wait a minute. Let's see if we have something to watch in the next vlog. Hold up. Wait a minute. No. When is pretty basic coming back? The, the podcast. Weren't they supposed to have a thing come out? Girl, it's been three weeks. Girls, girls. I know Remy's posting, but girls, girls. It's been three weeks since you posted that replay episode. What are we doing? It's 2024. It's the year of keeping it moving. Like, I am. I'm, like, dead right now inside, right? I need to get on top of my bane. On that note, I'm going to end the vlog here so I can edit this shit. I'll have your playlist of what I watched below. Lots of shit in there. Hold on, I think I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. That was a sneeze. That was a sneeze. I'm telling you, that was a sneeze. But we're keeping it moving. We're keeping it moving. So, as always, I'm sending lots of love. Whoa. Sorry, my nose is running. It's the morning. My nose is draining. So, as always, I'm sending lots of love to everybody. <laughs> My nose is too. I hope you have a good day. I love you, and I hope you have fun doing whatever you're going to do until tomorrow. And I will be blowing my nose. You'll know what I'd be doing. Love you guys. Bye.